Jesus, you want to see more? Ah, well, you're already here, so I guess I have to show you. Today, we're focusing on builds that are not near home, but not the lab or the city. This is going to be stuff that built in the nether, maybe 20,000 blocks away. Maybe not that far. I don't want to go that far. But things surrounding everything around here, basically. So there's absolutely no time to waste. Let's just hop right into it. I didn't really cover this. This is more like around the home over here, but this is that nether reactor disaster. If you didn't know, this is what that little nether reactor thing made. And I am so lucky to still have one of these, even though it is horrible looking. I have so many people always tell me, it's like, take that thing down. That is disgusting. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Those people just don't understand the significance this thing has being in this world still. So yeah, that's that. Um, I guess we can cover the factory here. It's not really a part of the town. Oh wait, what's this? This is, <laughs> these little things are some very old, yeah, I guess we're, I'm gonna mess around in RTX first. I might take it off here eventually, but uh, just change things up. This is some old animal pins that I not, didn't end up using because they would always just despawn, which made no sense, but that was back in pocket edition when just bugs, there were bugs galore. Uh, over here is my beach. As you can see, these are the older palm trees, and this is my newer version, which I need to... Well, I don't know. I don't even know if I like that, but it's there. But uh, this is what I call the Blue Lagoon. It's not so blue when I have RTX on, but I got a little dock here. Got a little island there that you can fish off of. There's not much over here. It's just more of like a relaxing part in my world. Little hut. But yeah, if we head back here, this is the infamous factory. And I say infamous because I started building this a very long time ago, like super long, and it's still not 100% complete. And I don't know why, maybe I just get so tired of it. I need to just finish it and call it quits. But basically, at first it was gonna be a place that housed like redstone stuff, but uh, as you can see, it's like a little stone cutting area, some storage, not much down here. Second floor, <laughs> not much either. Some furnaces, we got like this big gear looking system to make it look like it's powering a machine. A vat full of liquids. And then the third floor is actually being used. This is a mass storage area. So these double chests are normally holding just like a lot of something, dirt, cobble, whatever. What the? I, but as you can see as well, there's some very useful things up here like elytra wings and well, these aren't useful to me. I still have the first pair in my world here, so all the rest are just useless, but like, the enchantment table. I have a dragon head up here, what? But yeah, just a mass storage for random things. On the outside, as you can see, we got a giant smoke stack. Got some, like, trash cans here. I like the look of that. Got some scaffolding around that to make it look like we're tinkering on it, because this place is old. Uh, so, as you can see, this is a big part that's not finished. And if you didn't know, I have a melon farm within the smokestack. This thing is pretty old. Wow, that just gave me a lot of melon. Outside here, we got like a little setup for, I like building these little trailers when I'm working on something and then I'll get rid of the trailer when the build is complete. But as you know, that build is not complete. So this stays out here until it is. So obviously that is the lab and a bit of a town right there. We're gonna cover that in the third part of the world tour. Let's head on right over here. I have a little barn and a windmill. I love this so much. Like you got remnants of an old crop section here. Maybe this is like a barn I built way back in the day, which it kind of was, but uh, yeah, on the inside here, we just got a little bit of working related things. Now, some things are gonna look very different in RTX, but I want each video part to be a little bit different, so I just wanna to tour this one in RTX, like I said. Let's follow this trail. As you can see, I got some fences. I, I at one point, wanted to border off what I call my land. Like, this is the wilds out here, and past this fence is my claimed land, so that's why I do actually have fences all around my property. But if we head over this way, this leads to one of my favorite builds in my world, and that is the museum. If you couldn't tell, the museum is in a very random location. I've been thinking about rebuilding a new one over in the city and then leaving this one behind, but I haven't really decided yet. But as you can see, you walk in. This is where I store everything significant in my world. Um, I built a giant dragon skeleton out of quartz hanging from the ceiling. That's one of my favorite details in here. 
But uh, yeah, let's just run through here and check some stuff out. Over here, we got a map. The whole ceiling is built out of copper blocks. So I can't believe it's actually mostly on the third stage now, which is ridiculous. I thought I would never see this thing fully oxidized in my lifetime, but maybe we will. We got some armors over here. Some of these, is this the Northern Adventure gear? Yeah, I gotta set that up somewhere. I just collect stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, we got an end crystal here. That's pretty cool. We got the dragon egg here. I have two dragon eggs in my world. One's in the lab. This armor set is actually the first enchanted diamond pieces in my world. You could read that little section there. And I finally put it in the museum. It belongs here. It's so cool that I still have that. This is my retirement wall. I do not break any tools or armor in my world. And when they are at that point where it says too expensive to repair, they simply go on this wall. So you can download the world and check it out. It'll be in the description if you didn't know. These are all, you can come here and check them out. You can read this if you want. I just love doing this. It just makes me connect to my world so much more. Over here, maps are a little wonky on RTX, but we got some very old and unique maps here. For example, map of home in 2016, 2018, 2021. 2022 I got a creature up in that cage there right here is our first full set retired armor just stuff I can't repair anymore or don't want to use anymore there's one of the new flowers we got some rare blocks here the withered rose stone cutter a deep slate emerald ore here we have personally rare items they're kind of hard to see but uh they're mainly first so like first pottery shard dark Oh, that was the dark oak I took down in front of my house. It was just old. First smithing template, wooden mansion apple, first traded emerald, a lonely emerald. All of this doesn't really make sense, but I've collected this stuff throughout my series. And right here we have, I think just rare items. Yeah, rare and unique items in my world, like a zombie drop diamond helmet, an efficiency cap. What's that? Oh, just a light your wings, double tall fern. Right here we have a piece of a mineshaft from the first mineshaft I've ever found in this world. And here we have a replica of, well, another reactor. If we head over to my graveyard and walk back here, uh, this leads to a few little builds over this way. Here's a really old map. I call this Mesa Road because, as you can see right up here, this is where the Mesa Biome is. And I have a road that goes all the way there. But obviously I don't really use that road anymore. You use Elytra Wings to get everywhere. But yeah, if we walk along Mesa Road here, we have some temporary sheep farms because I actually need to build a factory in the city for my sheep because I've been using a lot of wool over at the city. Uh, but I put them out here. I'm going to keep these ones here because this is like a good farming area. But yeah, there's some random sheep farms. Here's an old village I built for future villagers to live here. But I realized it was really far away from home and... It was just very vulnerable out here, so I never ended up bringing villagers out here, and I made the place look abandoned. I usually do that with builds I don't touch in a while, so this was one of them. Now it's just an old, decrepit <laughs> village. Here's a railroad track. This leads all the way out to the Mesa Baum. I built that back in, like, the teen episodes when I was needing terracotta to build my house. And then over here, this is a recent addition to my world because I've been adding lore to my world. These are like some ancient standing stones. I think I wrote in this book, didn't I? Yeah. Ancient statue study. But uh, yeah, it's basically just signifies an old civilization that used to live here because in my part one of the world tour, we toured all of those ancient ruins and this standing stone is supposed to look like he's pointing or holding a torch, but rather looks like he's flipping you off, points to the other entrance to the ancient ruins. All right, if we head to the docks here behind my mansion, cross the river, let's go this way. No, this way. No, this way. Wait, lumber yard, training course. Okay, no, this way. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> How have I not built a staircase here yet? What the heck? All I have to do is go get wood stairs and place them here. That's all I have to do, and I still won't do it. This road leads to, as you can see, I got a little lush biome here I made, but we've got some water towers over here. I have dripstone under those with some cauldrons just to actually collect water if I need to. I just love realistic stuff like that in my world, but this leads to, ignore the leaves, I come out here to plant trees and gather wood when I need to. It's a fitting location. We have giant wood piles here. Yes, there's totally wood on the inside. They're not hollow, but uh, I have a giant crane here. I think this crane looks pretty darn gnarly, if you ask me. It's hauling up some 
wood here. I look at all this wood and wish I just had it in my inventory, but I have a lot actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. We also have some giant spruce trees laid out here, uh, but this is all a custom mega taiga. This was all not here naturally. Um, but right here I have, what's this? Oh, danger. This was called the hole in the earth study. Before caves and cliffs, there was a section in my world that was only discovered by someone who went into creative from a world download and went under the bedrock and found an area that was right below some lava, but it got rid of the bedrock and it was just stone, so I came down here and dug it out and you could actually dig through the stone and I had a void under my world. But as you can see, since Clays and Cliffs, it added Deep Slate, but there's still a void down there. Oh gosh, that looks scary. That sun is bright! Oh gosh, I'm blinded. But yeah, this lumber yard, I kind of made it look pretty realistic because I got some mud tracks right here. And these mud tracks lead to... Oh, I like this bridge. Lead to an actual tractor I made that looks like it's cutting down this forest. We got a little campsite here. Just for the workers. Please tell me you're still alive. Good. We have a <laughs> one of my donation villagers out here. Hunter K. M Met was his last name, I think. He runs this operation. Glad to see he's still alive. But as you can see, we got a copper tractor out here with a big saw in it, cutting through some wood. I love these little tractor designs. But this bridge right here actually leads into the wasteland biome. But I'm going to start on the other side. Coming back over this way behind the mansion and the docks, I have a very lush environment. I used to have more hobbit houses here, but now I only have one. It just felt very out of place and I didn't want a lot of them, so I just left one behind. There's not an interior, so I'm not going to go in, but <laughs> I just wanted to have a little hobbit house. Heading further down the road, this leads to my training course. These are some parkour sections that I actually made to improve my parkour in the game. Got a little bamboo hut here just to store your stuff if you need to. Got a shooting range over here that you can shoot with your bow. Right here on these boards are my best times. My currently, oh wait, my current best time is 113. And I reached that three years ago? Oh my god. Wait, I thought I've, t have I? Oh, I forgot I had to revert back to a save. I forgot to put down my times I did on that course. But okay, yeah, we got this course here, which is, you guys have seen me jump on this a lot. Um, you can try it yourself. Do not do it on Pocket Edition. It is really hard with touch controls. <laughs> I prefer a keyboard and mouse. Um, this one is pretty fun, but this one right here is more about speed. This one's more about fine-tuning your controls. Uh, give them a shot. Let me know how you do. I'm not going to run them right now because... I'll get angry. But yeah, this, as you can tell, this road doesn't look as good in RTX, but this leads into my giant custom wasteland biome with a bunch of dead trees. Let me tell you, this biome took forever to make, mainly the coarse dirt, just gathering dirt and gravel, combining that together and placing it all. But yeah, we have a few points of interest throughout this wasteland, such as right here. I have a crashed shuttle of mine that I crashed in one of my episodes returning back home from the space station. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool to add. Um, still haven't cleaned it up yet. We're just going to leave it here. Got a nice big skid mark here. Okay, over this way, behind this dead tree, we have a really old building that's just here from someone that used to live here a while ago, or maybe I built it, but it's mainly meant to look like part of the junkyard now, because I have a junkyard here, and I actually throw junk in here too, as you can see. It's a bunch of nasty stuff. Hey Bob, how you doing? Got a tractor there, uh, but I, I really, I even want to expand this. This is just piles of junk, and I actually have one of you that live here. I was going to turn these into homes, which I have one home right up here. There's a robot. <laughs> I wonder if he's still alive. I haven't checked up on him in a while. Hi, George. Wow, that was scary. You were just waiting for me. How do you see in here? Whoa! Yeah, as you can see, this is where George lives. It's a really cool environment in here with RTX. I'm glad to see you're doing okay. Uh, what else do we got in here? We got another robot right there from the nether. Uh, we have a junk pile for an old nether portals. It looks like I'm trying to, like, throw some dirt over them. All right, uh, as you can see here, we have a broken off train track system. As you can see, this expands really far that way. I'll show you more of that here in a bit, but it ends right here in the wasteland biome. 
Right here I have a giant engine made mainly out of copper and acacia wood. I used to have one of my donation villagers living here. I believe it was Jack McCartan. Uh, but he passed away because I didn't really think it through. This place is just not that safe. So he was the first official donor villager to die. So I'm still going to make a big graveyard here soon. He'll be the first one in there. Up this way, I have a giant custom tree. And as you can see... Oh, I love the look of that path in RTX. It looks nice. I have a root system that comes down. You can climb up the root. And this leads up to one of my donor villagers that lives up here. This is Pathfinder. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. Well, as you can see, I have a giant fossilized dragon over there. I think that looks really cool. Got a little wagon right there. This road leads to nowhere. Um, eventually, I'm going to make my new bamboo forest back there. But, uh, hey, Pathfinder. How you doing? Doing all right? As you can see, he lives in the center of this tree. Oh, I forgot about stuff out here. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, man, there's so much to show. <laughs> Under the tree, we have a bunker. This is my nuclear fallout bunker. So one day when bombs decide to be dropped on my world, I'll come here for protection. As you can see, we're moving stuff in still. But yeah, that's basically what this is. This was uh, inspired mainly through Fallout 4 and Far Cry 6, believe it or not, because there were some certain bunkers you could go in and I just got inspired from that. In here, we have a workout area, some benching, squatting. No, that's like deadlift, squatting. Got some weights over there, treadmill, got a pull-up bar, a kickboxing bag. Over this way, we just got some more storage. I do not really like the look of these in RTX, but can't really do much about that. What's this? Got a little pipe system here, an exit right there if you really wanted to. But basically, I just came here and stored stuff that makes it look like if there was a nuclear apocalypse, I have backups of stuff. So we got like ingots and ores in here. We got some diamond armor and gear. But if we walk back through this way, I know it's kind of dark in here, but I want to do this all in RTX in this episode. We have, oh, I like this room. This is going to be my main office room. I like, I put red glass here because it actually looks like the nuclear event already happened. Like it's very radiation heavy outside here i think this room looks pretty cool i'll just come in here and plan out stuff but uh, over this way we got a little storage section we got some crops and in here we got a giant machine to power this bunker i am so glad i decided to split this into three parts <laughs> there's no way i could cover all this in one video so out here is a swamp biome that has been through a few different designs that is weird oh the cloud is causing that uh, but at one point i had a bunch of the new swamp trees planted out here but then i just got rid of every tree and i decided to go on like a bone meal spree so this place just looks like a giant treeless swamp which i actually quite like i got areas with bamboo and you know just it just looks very swampy over here looks pretty nice but as you can see over this way i have one single lonely hut over here and I made this when we got the new mud bricks, so, yeah, I don't have anyone living in this. Oh, gosh, looks like someone hasn't been here in a while. <laughs> Gotta like that. Yeah, it's almost like a witch's hut. Got the cauldron in the middle with some green liquid. But yeah, this is all swampy area over here, but then, as you can see over this way, I have the slime ranch, which I want to head back out here soon. I have a giant cattle field here. This is where I was going to. I want to even fill this up with more cows but uh yeah i was going to plant some w more weed out here have more livestock farms i got a few barns here big red barns i actually really love how these turned out because these are made out of mangrove wood and i got this like really unique design with some red terracotta and then mangrove signs to make it look a little old there's not much going on on the inside yet got some wheat got a silo right there got a giant wheat field right there it doesn't look that big but that is a lot of wheat this isn't meant to be harvested though it's all for looks which i like and then we got another one here this is more meant to look like a horse barn so maybe one day i'll put some horses in here but yeah as you can see that railroad leads all the way through here this is an unused railroad track as you can see it's all decrepit and old but it goes pretty far i think i stopped oh gosh how far did it go oh i think i stopped right here yeah that was a pretty fun build. This is where I lost my brown bed. If you didn't know, I've been carrying a brown bed in this world for years. I think it was like 
Six years of brown bed in my inventory is the only bed I used. And while I was building that, I lost it somehow. So now I'm carrying the red bed. Oh, I forgot I had sniffers out here. These are my first sniffers. Hey guys, how's it going? But yeah, if we head back to the wasteland biome here, let's head over to this dragon skeleton. It looks better from a distance. The, I like the skull, but when you walk up to it, uh, it gets very blocky as you can see, but it looks great on a map. This was a really fun build as well. I was getting really into just like, I guess, archeology. span um, But yeah, I got a little dig site here, got a skull, some bone blocks, and then a map showing. Oh, I need to update these. Guess I could just do it now. Boom. Boom. That was easy. <laughs> but yeah, that is mainly the wasteland biome. There's not much to show because it is quite literally a wasteland. So, but if we head back over here to this tree that has like a cool branch going in and out of the ground, you turn here. I know I'm going fast, but I have a lot to cover. You come across this bridge. And this leads to, oh, I still love the look of this. This leads to no man's land. This place is meant to be very dangerous. It's very nasty looking. This is where I come to actually get my charged creepers or make charged creepers due to thunderstorms and then get mob heads. So there's lots of holes and damage everywhere. Got an old portal there, some broken robots to make it look like they fought here a little bit. But yeah, every hole you see here is normally from a charge creeper and me trying to get heads. Even over here, for example, I got a little bunker just in case I have an emergency. Go inside. What do I got? What do I have in here? Not much, but yeah, these look pretty cool because you can see out these slits. Down here, I actually have a whole trench system, like inspired by World War I trenches. You could run through this. This goes pretty far. Well, not really. It's not huge, but uh, it does the job, as you can see. In case I have actually used it quite a few times when I needed to get away from other mobs. But yeah, this place is just gross and nasty. Got like flipped over wagons there and unmade. You can probably set one more wither skull on that and try to fight him out here if we wanted. But over in this distance, as you can see, oh, I love the way the sun's hitting that castle. Got an old castle. This is going to be one of my witcher castles i'm a huge fan of the witcher series so this is more like a sword training school like an old ancient one i made this for this used to be a forest here but i made it look like an old burnt down forest but uh yeah inside here there's not much done but i'm just still working on it got kind of like a table there i think this place looks pretty cool but if you head out back here we got some stairs these lead down to like a little training yard where these people who used to go here trained Again, inspired by Witcher, so you fight like swords there. There's a little parkour section you could try. Here's like a circle on the ground here where they dueled. If we head back home here, we can come right up here to head to the nether. Now, I don't know if this place would be good enough to tour with RTX. Ooh, it looks cool though. Gotta stick with the theme for this one. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is my main little nether hub. This is where I, well, this is just my house portal. So I built this structure around it to make it look like I work in here. Got some storage for some random things. I don't have my paintings pack on, kind of forgot. But yeah, what's this? Nether gear, oh. Oh yeah, this is when I made my nether gear. Huh, what do you know? Forgot about that. Yeah, I got all kinds of, I got diamond gear in here? Oh man, as you can see here, I made it look like I'm tinkering on a robot a little bit. But yeah, if we head out, we can check out the exterior, which I think looks pretty cool. I went for this very industrial look, got pipes running everywhere. And as you can see, it leads over to a larger building. What is that glowing? Oh, the change had just messed up a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is where I need to put some lights in here actually. <laughs> but um, got some machines here. This is where it looks like it's assembling some robots that work in the nether because that is the sort of style I went for in here. Because if you look right here, oh, that looks really cool. Uh, this is like a robot carrying a big piece of, what is that, blackstone? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. As you can see back there in the distance, I have a giant bucket being held up by a hook. Right here, we got a bit of a small power plant type of deal, but I also have these pathways, this pathway Leads all the way over there. We got a kneeling robot here drilling into this basalt. 
This pathway leads over to my netherite mine, and this is where I get all of my netherite in this world. I still want to tinker on this a bit, to be honest. Got another robot here, trampling through the lava, carrying a piece of nether rack. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I want to put a big black bellowing smoke coming out of these chimneys, but um, yeah. This mine is pretty cool. Um, nothing really in here other than decorations. But you head down here, and this is where I do all of my bed mining. This place is massive, believe me when I tell you that. It's just feels endless in some directions. <laughs> Sometimes I reach basalt walls and I don't want to bed mine through that. But uh, yeah, there's still lots of space down here to continue mining. So I will come here once again when I need more netherite. While we're in the nether, might as well check out all the other places throughout my world where I have nether travel to. Up here, I have... This actually just takes me to the lab. Just some quick transportation between my house and the lab. Oh, nugget. But, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go there, obviously, because that is for the next part of this world tour. Got some, like, random wiring and circuitry-looking stuff out here. Just to make it look important. But if we head back through here, I have an unfinished road, which is right here. Oh, look at the lava glowing off the bottom. That's scary. But uh, yeah, this is a very long road. And if we head down this... We ignore that part to the right and keep going straight. Go up this giant staircase. Ow! Ah takes you up to a portal shield your eyeballs because it will be bright uh, this takes us to our massive emerald mountains which I love oh so dearly <laughs> because we built an old-timey castle out here and this is where I came to do a lot of emerald mining got like a little bunny pin over there still a bunch of rabbits in it actually <laughs> uh, but yeah this leads to well just I don't ever come here anymore which I should, because I believe there's still a lot of emeralds around here. I think I've got most of them. Yeah, this was a fun little project. Walk in here, you got a little area for some food making. Head up here, this leads to a little map room and a place to sleep. This little room is a little smelting room. You got a little jail cell right here that I just turned into an area where I always slept. That's nice and comforting. <laughs> And then this giant room is where I actually left a lot of emerald here, but it's where I stored all my emerald, but this is where I stored the mass amounts of it. I used to have a giant pile of emerald blocks, which I think was pretty cool. Just, I, I like displaying my wealth out in the open. But yeah, that is pretty much the emerald mountains base, but I do have a spot on the back side over here. All I have to do is fly over this crevice, and this leads, oh, these clouds look kind of scary. <laughs> this leads down to a very unfinished witcher school I was making, which I really should come back out here. The front of this looks so cool, but uh, yeah, as you can see, I have like a big castle gate in the front that looks damaged. You walk through this bit. Oh, I can still hear my hornless goat. Are you still here, buddy? There he is, with no horns. <laughs> nice to see ya. But yeah, I got a little training spot right here. This is actually pretty fun. This is inspired by The Witcher. They actually train on these in the books and in the game. Uh, you just run across, smack this with your sword, and try not to fall. Yeah, Can I make it back? Of course I can. I am so good at this. Woo! And then this giant front bit of a castle that was going to be a pretty big keep, but I think I just got interested in other things. Is that a polar bear? It is. So yeah, there's nothing really in here. Oh, I had a lot of snow blocks out here. That would have helped back at home. Back on my very safe bridge here, uh, we are going to turn this way this time. This leads to another area far off in my world. Which is my ancient library that I, I've i never actually seen in RTX. This is pretty cool. But this is basically the end portal in my world. We've got it like hovering over a void there, which looks kind of scary. 
but uh, made it look like there was an ancient civilization that used to live here and studied the end portal. If we go down this way, it's got some bookshelves and whatnot. And over here, we got a giant table where they studied and just hung out, did their experiments. I think this looks pretty cool. Wow, these really glow blue. This place took a while to make. Got like a library section over here. Some books in the ground, laying on the ground. This right here, I tease it all the time, but I just honestly never did it. Uh, I would always, as you can see, I was going to make a really creepy hallway with books and make it, well, with RTX, you can see the top, but in normal Minecraft, it looks like it fades into black up there. And I was just going to make this look like an infinite hallway, but I never did because I ran out of bookshelves and I just never came back to finish it. Yeah, that is the ancient library, but what's better, oh gosh, you can actually see, huh, is the end because we got some cool stuff here. Where am I? Oh god, ignore that. You just have to trust in yourself and fly off into the void. Oh boy. Do I trust myself? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> here is our space station. Get a good view of it here. We got some solar arrays. On each side, we got a bunch of different modules for different stuff. I just love this place to pieces. Just love it so much. I actually have one of my donation villagers living out here, but uh, this was going to be the giant biodome, which I didn't really turn it into anything, but I want to put vegetation from the overworld in here to, well, you know, support the people that live here, which is me and my one scientist. But yeah, we got this giant ring that goes around got viewing windows every so often. I wanted this place to really feel like a space station. There he is. Who's this guy again? Captain D. Clark, correct? Yeah. Why do you have no pants on? I could've... That's odd. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, these are escape pods or just little shuttles you can use to dock at the space station. This place is much more creepier with RTX on. It just enhances it. But yeah, here's what one of them looks like. These are the pods that crashed in my wasteland from earlier in this tour. Ugh. Oxygen's a little rich. You can turn that down. Heading over this way, uh, we just got to more modules. This is another control room. This leads over to an area where I can fly in really fast if I wanted. Uh, here is Captain D. Clark's office. All the banners are messed up with RTX, so I'm just gonna have to ignore that. Got a map of space station here. I just now realized I need to bring some of my new map art over here. If you're new here, I'll show off all my map art in the next episode. Wow, that looks really creepy. All I can see is the office. <laughs> over here, we have a trap door. This leads down into a little viewing chamber, but you won't be able to see much because, well, yeah. Oh, I use black stained glass too. It makes it even worse for RTX, that is. Oh crap, I forgot we just built a whole new colony out here. Do I remember where it is though? Oh crap. It's off in this direction. I'm gonna do my best to find it. Actually, we have something right over here I can show you. There we go. We have a little landing spot for one of these shuttles where it looks like I'm loading supplies up. Uh, basically stuff from you find in the end cities. Got some diamonds there. <laughs> I kinda like this. Got a dragon head loaded up here. It's ready to take off. But uh, yeah, let me go find my little colony outpost. There it is. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> we built this very recently. Obviously, you've probably seen it. Uh, but this is just... I'm, I'm really looking forward to the... Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the game Starfield. So I got inspired to make it feel like I'm building on another planet. There's nothing really in here yet. We're going to come back out here soon and change that. But well, we got a few solar arrays over here I'm working on, and then like a little vehicle to take on explorations, which you can't really take. It's just here for looks. Yeah, that's basically that. Go! Oh. Well, I believe that about does it for this part of the world tour. I can't really think of anything else. Maybe my stone mountain base, but that's 30,000 blocks away. Uh, if you want to see that, just go watch the video, <laughs> I guess. I don't know, it's just too far. 
but I am prone to miss certain things. Uh, but yeah, the next part, we're going to start off right here, tour the lab and all of the city and our town. I'm going to go into great detail, and we have a lot to cover over here, too. So if you want to watch that, it'll be at the end of the video or in the description. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.